I don't know if you guys have ever done electrical work out of your country, but let me show you the switches here that they use in South America. They're certainly not UL approved. Check this out. So this is a two gang switch and you can see how they are, how they differ from our switches. They're very cheap very lightweight and I just by pulling on them almost all the wires came out now I actually added this wire nut they don't even use wire nuts there's no ground in the box it's just uh, must be a junction box up at the light and it probably just comes down here at the switch leg but there's not even a ground here we're going to do some electric work, something you probably have never seen before. These are solid concrete walls. And the request is, this says no touch, no tocar, all right? This is for an outside ring camera light, and people always come and they turn the light switch off. So this is a single gang switch, and this is a three gang switch. So this one so this is sala, this is like the living room. Ventilador is a fan. So we need these two to stay functional and we need to jump these two together. These should not be able to be switched on or off. So what are we gonna do? The first thing is this is metal. So we're gonna get this out of the way. We're just gonna put that up over here and let's take a look at what we got. But before we do that, we need to turn the power off. So I can tell by the ceiling fan, that light, and that light. So let's leave those lights on and go shut off the breaker. Okay, so here we're at the circuit breaker in the house. And you can see it's pretty filled up. It's got all these, you see the dust? It's got all these individual breakers. now. Certainly, I'm not going to take this cover off without proper PPE equipment on. I'm not going to do it because I don't know what the condition is behind this panel. And that's one advice to you guys. If you are working in unfamiliar territory in the United States on any type of panel, you should always protect yourself when you're opening up a cover for the first time. I mean, technically, you're supposed to do it at all times. But certainly, if you're unfamiliar with where you're working, such as this who knows look at these all these 30s in here there's a 40 amp single pole 40 amp single pole let's go find out where and i can't read all these off okay now that should be the signal okay now that we've located the power we still don't know if there's other power behind here so let's be on the safe side and what we're going to do is first we're going to pry off the cover cover simply comes off we can take this cover off you can see it's got these little tabs here so you open up the store give us a little more light it's got tape here to keep it from being closed Now, this tool is worth its weight in gold here in Ecuador. Any type of Milwaukee, which you cannot find, but certainly DeWalt, original DeWalt, is at least three times as much here as it is. You can see that's not a machine screw, that's a wood screw. here now I have a little toolkit here because I'm always doing that's one thing good about being an electrician you can do electric work anywhere all right carefully taking those out now we want to make sure we don't damage the paint here if these don't come out easily so taking a razor knife or scoring along the side will help the paint you can see that came right off Let's take a look and see what's behind here. Boy, I don't 
even use a wire, not here. So here you can see there's no color coding. Look at that. Wow. Wow. It's all taped right in there. That's quite amazing. Okay. So it looks like our color wire is our line wire. And these white wires are the loads. So we have a 20 amp circuit. This is 12 wire. It's coming in and it's jumping to these three individual switches. Right? So the one we want to disconnect is this one. So simply on this case, we can just remove the screw, undo the screw. Actually, that was torqued down very nicely. We can pull that out. And then if I could, I could add it, but I'm just going to, I'm gonna try and see if I can double it up on this one if it's tight enough to do so. So we'll add that here and let's see if we can get a better screwdriver. And get that a nice, yeah, you can see how much more I can torque that down. Oh yeah, that's a nice. So while I'm here, I'm going to torque all the rest of them down just to make it see a little bit loose. Oh, that one's loose. That one's loose too. This one's loose. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that should complete at least what we need to do to bypass that switch. Now, I don't see any ground here. Uh, I just see switch loops. That's all these are. There's no ground, there's no neutral here. There's no wire nuts, they just use tape. Um, of course, the power is off. And I'm not real happy because this is a cement wall. Half one of these wires come off could certainly energize that wall. And I doubt the resistance would be low enough to trip the circuit breaker. So that's dangerous. That's why you always have to be careful when you're working with electricity. Even more so in areas in different parts of the world, like here in Ecuador. Nice and feathered, the switch in, the, the drill in for the screw. We'll feather that in nice and slow. I'm not gonna rip it home. Feather that in till it grabs. And that's pretty good. And now we can just snap the cover back on. And I'll just leave the label there so that they remember which one it was. Okay, let's look at this one now. Same thing, I came right off in my hand. What do we have here? Oh, here we have a, is that a spare wire? Oh, it is a spare wire. That's kind of cool. I wonder what that is. That could be something else outside that they've used for a switch loop because this is only a single switch here. Oh, I see. See, you can break these out. You can convert these into... So here I can just put a simple wire nut. And put these together. Let's see if we can do it this way. Okay, so here's my circuit breaker. Turn that back on. Everything looks... Yeah, that was the refrigerator and I shut off. So everything is clearly labeled. They did a nice job there. There's our fan, and there's our family room light. Good. Job well done. Well, as much as it could be. Thanks, guys.